Company. Hey folks, at night. it's MaxWithPhoneArena.com uh, and uh, we're at uh, Pepcom in San Francisco and uh, know that it's not my heartbeat, that is a uh, sleep aid, a uh, sleep measurement device that works with iOS and Android. It's called the Beddit and you've heard of Reddit. Well, we're talking about Beddit, and this is a sleep monitor that works with iOS and Android, and it is a, a physical mechanism that you place under your sheet, basically across your sleeping area, so you would sleep perpendicular to this strip. And this is, I'm with Dean, who's the president or vice president of sales and marketing with Beddit, and uh, you know everything about sleep. We were talking about this, and I'm kind of going, whoa, man. I. I don't know that much about sleep. I know I close my eyes and, and, and I go to bed. But um, we were talking about how this measures body movement. It's basically a giant microphone, and from that you can glean a whole bunch of information about how we sleep. Yeah. So the, the beauty of, of sleep is, and this job is, I get to practice what I do every night. Right. right. Exactly. It's great. I love it. What are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm working. Exactly. It's sleeping. Yeah. So it's great. So the better sleep tracker is the most convenient, easy to use way to track track your sleep and it's the most accurate and is it and it's accurate now? because the sensor that you're seeing here is a piezoelectric strip that goes on the mattress under the sheet right so when you lay down on it it automatically starts tracking your sleep and we track your heart rate and we track what we call heart rate variability right we track your respiration rate so breaths per minute and we track your your movement your motion so if you're tossing and turning or just a lot of movement we can track all that at night while you sleep so when you wake up in the morning we give you a sleep score Right. And a sleep score is zero uh, to 100. A, uh, we want to get you in the, that uh, little green area there. If you're not colorblind, you can see it's green. Right. Yep. And the beauty of that is when you wake up in the morning, it's, instead of me asking you, hey, how did you sleep? And it's like, oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, let's, like, uh, let's ask that. you got your phone right here. Yeah, so tell, tell us, let, me, let me show you how I slept. How so did you sleep, Dean? Last night. Out. Try again. Try again. Here we go. Here we go. So let's see. When was this? So this was earlier. There's, yeah. there's a nice score. There's a yeah. 78. Here's a 68. Oh yeah, we got some good nights. We got some bad nights. This was I, I was out of town that week, so so here's a couple of nights here. This was me last night. I was on the phone with our company's based in Finland. I was on the phone till two o'clock in the morning. Right on. Not a great night's sleep. But tell us about some of the information now. We, now, like any other activity tracker, this is not a diagnostic tool, so it's not an FDA thing, but it can give you a rather insightful picture about our the human condition and how we how our everyday tasks affect our... Yeah, it, yeah. it gives you a great um, overview of your sleep. So what, for instance, what you see here is a number of sleep cycles. So this is me sleeping through the night. Yes. Um, I, had a, I had a little bit of trouble falling asleep last night. I don't normally, but I was on the phone until 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, so my sleep efficiency was only 94, not really good. I was awake one time for 22 minutes. That's this little part right here. Right. And I had a little bit of restless sleep. It means I was tossing and turning. And here's my heart rate. So yeah. this is this is me thinking about stuff instead of sleeping. Good that my heart dropped down here. Oops. So I'm showing. Actually, we're going to a feature here that we call Family Bed. It right. didn't did mean to do that, but this is the way that you can actually share your sleep data with your family. Right. So I can see my sleep data. In this case, my wife's sleep data. But it, it allows us to do all of that. And the other thing that we do is we work with Apple's Health Kit. Health Kit. Yeah. So our sleep data. Hold it still real quick. I zoom in here. There we go. Yeah. So your app and your and the Bedit mechanism utilize the development kit from Apple and the Apple Care or the Apple Health Kit uh, so that it integrates with iOS in general. And so the sleep analysis we see here in the Apple Health right. is from Bedit. And the, and the nice part about that is it, it can be integrated with other data. So right. your activity during the day, your dog, all the things that right. Apple Health does. So right. we integrate nicely with that. But we also, as of about two weeks ago, have a really cool feature that we've added, which is we also work with Apple Watch. Yeah. So now, when I wake up in the morning, I can get my sleep score right on my Apple Watch. Yep. I can drill down with the, with the digital crown to get more de details on how well I slept. And if I had a bad night's sleep, what we'll do is we'll tell you it's time to take a nap in the afternoon. 
and we'll actually time it for you and then wake you up with a Taptic engine, kind of tap you on the wrist and say, hey, it's time to wake up. Right. Because it's a great feature. So we integrate really well with Apple all the way across from their Apple Health, their research kit. We have a number of researchers, for instance, one work, one uh, particular working with some PTSD research. Yeah. There's some really exciting stuff that's going on, and we're using our sensor for that. Well, that's pretty cool. So um, Bet It is available now. It's 149 bucks, and you can buy it on Amazon or in any Apple store. Yeah, we, we launched with Apple just a couple of weeks ago, so anywhere in the world, right. uh, every Apple store is carrying our product now. It's uh, It'll be online, Apple Store, in about yeah. a week. It's available at Bedit.com or at Amazon and also on Brookstone. So really broad availability for the product. and uh, we're That's outstanding. And you know it, that's that's all it is. It ties in with a mobile app. And if you have issues with sleeping and you want to know why, this might uh, reveal something to you to talk to a doctor or a healthcare professional about. It, it shows yeah. you what your sleep looks like. Yeah. And, and you know the beauty here is you lay down on it, you go to sleep, you wake up and you have a score. You don't have to do anything. Right. All you have to do is sleep. Yeah. Well, hey, whoever said sleep was a bad thing, right? So that's bet it. 149 bucks. It's available now. Works with Android and iOS <clears throat> and the Apple Watch. And uh, with that, uh, you have a, a unique activity tracker that actually works when your activity is... Well, you're, when you're not doing anything, sort you're sleeping. Sort of anti-activity, Yeah, right? anti-activity. So right. those guys all track the vertical world, we right. track the horizontal exactly. world. Exactly. <laughs> so learn more about your horizontal activities with Bedit. And uh, keep checking back with us here at PepCon in San Francisco on phonearena.com.